Standing along Father Duenas Drive in Timooning is a two-story home that currently houses Pastor William Schmidt and his wife Paula, who live upstairs, and run a private school on the lower level in the daytime. House number 259 is the current location for Providence International Christian Academy, an accredited school instructing 46 students from kindergarten through 12th grade. It's not the curriculum or the student-to-teacher ratio at PICA that is causing concern. It's the lack of permits that allow a school to operate legally. PICA sits in a residential zone and must be issued a conditional use permit in order to operate as a school. The Schmitz are currently going through the long process of acquiring a conditional use permit, and they say so far only one neighbor has made his objections clear. The question that we're trying to answer and remedy, can we do it here? And prior to uh, apparent uh, objections from uh, some individuals here in the community, particularly one I believe is, is, is having trouble with it, um, uh, everyone we've talked to seem to think it shouldn't be a problem because we're not taking away from the community, we're bringing something to the community. Pastor Schmidt says PICA is not making their presence in the community a secret and is in the process of getting all the required permits. Just for the record, you know, we've not done anything undercover, obviously, or I wouldn't have a sign out there in front that says public notice. Um, so we're in the process of getting the requirements. The agencies are coming in. We have several agencies that already have said no problem. We're still waiting on some of the other agencies. But the permits haven't been completed. The Department of Public Works would be the last agency to sign off on an occupancy permit for the school, and DPW Deputy Director Carl Dominguez says his agency hasn't signed off on that permit yet. We would be the last uh, uh, party involved uh, uh, in issuing an occupancy permit, and that would be the permit to allow the school to operate, to, to have uh, staff and students in there. So we would be the last organization to issue a permit. In addition to the conditional use and occupancy permits, PICA also needs a sanitary permit from the Department of Public Health. Administrator for the Division of Environmental Health, Tom Nadeau, says PICA has been aware of the requirement since June 2010, when the school was working toward approval for its previous location at the Castle Mall building in Minilau. Public Health sent a letter to Mr. Schmidt on December 16th informing him that a new application for the new location needs to be submitted for a sanitary permit and that has not yet been completed. Meanwhile, the Schmidts say they believe PICA's current facility is a safe environment for their students, but they are willing to meet standards required by regulatory agencies. And as for the school being located in a residential area... We're good neighbors. We're quiet at night. The children arrive after people go to work and they go home before they return. And when we went and canvassed the community, a lot of people were like, oh, there's a school there? We didn't know. So that's good because we want to be an asset to our community. Betsy Brown, PNC News.